Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. But guys, a week two of the NPA, the Minnesota Vikings are taking on the Pittsburgh Piratas in an epic week two matchup here. The Pittsburgh Piratas got off to a rough start, picking up a loss last week where we is barely picked out a win against Crimson Seabat. If you missed that one, go check it out. But we've got our work cut out for us. That is no joke. Zygarde 50% is a huge threat in draft league format show some love on that like button down below guys i'm gonna need any luck i can get in this one and i gotta ask you guys the question which dragon sight pokemon is best in draft league format is it zygarde 50 is it kiram black is it salamence is it hydreigon what is it let me know is it something i didn't mention let me know in the comment section below garchomp maybe let me know in the comment section below but i'm gonna get connected here with top we're gonna battle it out if you missed the team builder check it out i talked about what i'm bringing why i'm bringing it everything's in the description as is tup's channel he's an old friend of mine and let's make it happen i'm gonna get connected and let's get this battle started all right guys we are connected here with Tup. let's find out exactly what he's gonna bring my plan is most likely to lead Victini no matter what we are, Choice Band Victini. I feel like if you were to try to lead Beedrill, he'd be worried about us being uh, Choice Scarf. So I really feel like Victini's a good lead, but let's see what he brings. He doesn't bring Ditto, which I'm glad to see. Brings Doesn't bring Reuniclus, also glad to see. Does bring Aromatis, makes my uh, Salamence's job a little harder. Uh, and brings Lucario over Empoleon, which I'm okay with as well. So, um, you know, I, I actually feel all right seeing the team, team preview here. The one thing, obviously, that's really scary though is, um, is that Zygarde? That's the the real scary thing. Um, but everything else, you know, I actually feel okay, kind of looking at right now. I'm sticking to my guns though. I'm leading with uh, Victini as planned. If he leads Torkoal, which he may now, because I don't have, uh, you know, I didn't bring, I didn't bring my Nine Tails. That's fine. You know, I, I really feel like just uh, just going for two V creates right off the bat is my best play. Um, is there really any reason not to do that? No, I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to stick to my plan, which is to lead Victini here. Uh, if he does lead Torkoal, I can always U-turn out if I wanted to. But, uh, you know, I think just going for V-Create a few times is really good. If he leads Zygarde, I probably have to switch out. Um, you know, I don't think he leads Lucario. I don't think he leads uh, Aromatisse. He may lead Beedrill, though. Beedrill may be a good lead for him because um, he can always U-turn U -turn out on pretty much everything, except for maybe Mawile. I feel like he's probably going to lead Torkoal, though. Uh, which is fine. Again, Torkoal is a big threat to my team. It's it's one of the bulkier Pokemon, so uh, you know I gotta I gotta try to keep him from setting up Stealth Rocks. I don't think there's any way for me to really do that. So I think uh, we're just gonna click V Create here, regardless, and and we should two shot the Torkoal, which will be pretty good. Um, but I'm expecting that Torkoal to be you know setting up the sun to stop Nine Tails. He may have some special defense investment there. Uh, probably has like you know um, leftovers or something. So we'll see what he leads with. I'm hoping it's not Torkoal. I'm hoping it's Beedrill. Uh, he's going to lead with Glorious. Doesn't sound like a Torkoal name to me. That is Beedrill. Okay, so here's the question. Does he think that I'm Choice Scarfed? And, uh, you know, can I... I mean, I can live any hit from a, a Mega Beedrill. So, pretty sure we're clicking V-Create. You know? Like, does he think I'm Choice Scarfed? If I'm Choice Scarfed, I definitely outspeed him. Um, and I feel like Scarf Victini is something he's got to be really worried about. You know, he's got to be really concerned about Scarf Victini. So, I'm going to stick to my original plan, which is to click V-Create on the first turn. And I feel like he's got to be worried about Scarf Victini here. Because if I'm Scarf Victini, he loses his Beedrill on the first turn of the game. If he stays in. So, you know, Scarf Victini lead with U-Turn, always very scary. I feel like he's got a very safe switch in and Torkoal here. I'm trying to rationalize what I think Tub is going to do. I hope he just goes into Torkoal right now. Do not go for U-Turn, please. I feel like he's got to be so nervous about Scarf Victini. Which makes a lot of sense against his team. It really does. Especially with Zygarde and stuff like that. I can outspeed it. So... I feel like he's got to go Torkoal. Or Aromatisse. Or even Zygarde. He stays in! Why? I mean, if he U-Turns, it's fine. I still get a big hit off on something. But why did he stay in? What does he go for? He just U-turns out, so he knows I'm not Scarf now. And that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. So not the first turn I wanted. Oh my gosh, if I was Scarfed, he lost it. He goes into Cooper. Sounds like Torkoal to me. This should be a two shot with the V-Create though. So not ideal, but uh, I might be able to keep him from getting up Stealth Rocks. So let's go for the V-Create. Now he knows, now he knows the secret tech. I'm banded. This should do over half. Oh yeah. That was exactly the plan. And now I can keep him from setting up Stealth Rocks right now if I click V-Create again. And I've got Sun up. 
It's got leftovers, okay? Exactly as I expected. And I'm just gonna go for another V Create here. I am Choice Bandit, I don't have a choice. He does not have a switch into this outside of maybe Zygarde. He does not have a switch in outside of Zygarde. Something dies. Something dies right here. Victini and Sun is very scary. It's very scary. So he either lets Torkoal go down, which I feel like is what he's gonna do, or he goes Zygarde, and Zygarde takes like 75%. So, not a, not, I mean, taking that U-turn from the B-Drill stinks. There's no doubt about it, but he's gonna stay in. So Vitini kills the Torkoal, good. Keep rocks off the field. Now this does give him some momentum. There's no doubt about that. This gives him some momentum because he can easily go into Zygarde now or B-Drill and try to gain some momentum here. If he goes Zygarde, my play is 1 million percent Silvalli. He doesn't have the rocks up now, which is super helpful. I could also go Mawile and try to intimidate, but that seems a little risky. So I think I just go Silvalli here and I can parting shot or just Ice Beam. And his Ice Beam switchings aren't that great either. Like his, his Silvalli answers are, are, are definitely minimal with me going for Ice Beam and Flamethrower and stuff and parting shot out. Like definitely Silvalli looks pretty solid. Now that rocks aren't up, man, that was big. Victini did his job. Here comes Glorious again, which is the B-Drill. So B-Drill obviously can, can pivot out. I can go into Tooth Fairy here. I can also go to Bubbles. Bubbles seems like a pretty good play. So I'm gonna go to Bubbles here because I do have the ability to hit him with a uh, the Rocky Helmet and I can get my own rocks up, which could be really good. Um, I don't really have a way to play around his um, his U-turning, so I, I think I just go Bubbles here. Yeah, I wanna keep my Silvalli as healthy as possible, so let's go Bubbles. Because if he U-turns out in his eye guard, I can Icy Wind it. If he goes out into something like Zapdos, I have to obviously be very scared of uh, HP Grass, but let's go into Bubbles here. If he goes for the U-turn, we'll be good. Yeah, he's gonna go for the U-turn here. Should do a decent chunk to us. Dude, that does so much damage, man. We at least got some Rocky Helmet Chip. Now he goes either Lucario or Zygarde. Or Zapdos if he has HP Grass. He could go Zapdos. But Sun is still up, so if he knocks out, Tor uh, you know, Seismitoad here, I could just go Victini again and click V-Create. So, you know, that's always an option. And I think I have, I don't know how many turns of Sun left I have, but we'll see what he's gonna do here. If he goes Zygarde, I gotta just Icy Wind. And he's gotta know I have an Ice type move, so he, he, he'd have to either burn his Z move. I think he could go Lucario here though. I think Lucario could make a lot of sense. Man, all right, getting rid of Torkoal was big and him not having Ditto is also big. Mawile looks really good in this match with Intimidate. Um, you know, and if I can get Victini in against that Aroma T. So here comes Big Bird, which is his Zapdos. So this thing either has Hidden Power Grass or some sort of shenanigans there. Do I stay in? I mean, I can go... Do I think he's gonna go for the HP Grass? I kinda wanna stay in. What do I lose by staying in here? How many turns of sun is there? Two turns left of sun. If he knocks me out, I just go Victini and I get to click V Create. So it's not too bad. I could just knock off here. Um... What would he go for? He either goes for HP Grass. I don't really feel like I need Seismitoad that much. I'm gonna go for the Icy Wind, I think. Or Knock Off. Knock Off could be nice. Icy Wind's a good play, let's go for Icy Wind. He goes for the HP Grass, so good play on his part. He does just go for the safe Hidden Power Grass here. Oh, it's not Hidden Power Grass, it's HP Ice, dude! And I get the Icy Wind off. Nice, he's HP Ice. All right. That's amazing. Or he missed yet, I don't know, but he's got leftovers. And uh, my my uh, icy wind was really clutch there. So now I can go for knockoff. Or I can get my rocks up. Let's go for rocks. Let's get our stealth rocks up here. I don't know if that was a misgen or what, but I'm getting up my rocks now. He's not gonna go Zygarde. He could go Beedrill here, which is fine. I don't care if he goes Beedrill. If he knocks out Bubbles, it's not a big deal. But now I know that his big bird here, I'm actually maybe faster too. If I can get rocks up, man, that is gonna be huge. He may have Defog on his Zapdos, I don't know. 
But uh, this Zapdos might not even be able to do much to Seismitoad. I'm really surprised. So he went HP Ice over HP Grass for Salamence, or he just misgenned. He switches out and goes into Beyonce, which is going to be his uh, his Aromatisse. That's fine. I'm going to get my rocks up. And I have a situation here. I can go into Victini. He could wish, but I can go into Victini and really threaten him out with a V-Create. Is that my play? Or do I just knock off? I kind of want to just go Victini here. I don't think he T-Waves. I'm going to go Victini. I'm going to stay aggressive. He probably goes for Wish or something. Probably goes for Wish, maybe. Let's go Victini here. He goes for Moonblast. Okay, perfect. And I resist that hit, obviously, being a Fire-type. There's really nothing to me. And now Victini against the Romatisse is looking pretty solid. v may knock it out. It may not. Um, depends on his spread. I can also U-turn out here, but I think we just click V-Create. Going for V-Create. He goes for Protect, so he wants to scout my moveset. That's fine. He goes for Protect, so he's got Protect and Moonblast. Now, I can choose to switch out in a Solvali here if I wanted to. Predicting the Zygarde switch in. Which would actually be pretty solid. Does he just go Zygarde here? I mean, Savali looks good against his team. He's not going to go Beedrill. He either takes the hit with Aromatisse and loses it, or he goes Zygarde. What do I think he's going to do? I want to make the play in a Savali here. Savali doesn't really lose much by bringing it in. I feel like he goes Zygarde. I'm going to make the play in a Silvalli, predicting the Zygarde switch in. Let's see. Would he have just taken a V-Create, dude? He's going to Wish, I think. Or he's going to T-Wave, but... He goes for Moonblast. Wow! Really surprised to see that play. So maybe he predicted my switch. Uh, I'm just going to Parting Shot out. I'm just going to Parting Shot out. I'm really surprised. Well, I'm just going to V-Create then. Really surprised. Had I just V-created, I might have just knocked out this uh, Aromatisse, so... Very surprised to see that. Very surprised to see that, actually. Okay. That's fine with me. He's got Moonlight, or Moonblast Protect, most likely Wish. Let's see what he does. Does he switch out? He's taking a long time to think about this move, so I'm a little surprised. I'm really surprised that he decided to uh, stay in there. Knowing I was, I could have just V-created. Unless he thought I was going to make the prediction, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, I get to Parting Shot out. I should take a Moonblast still from, uh, from Aromatisse. I could also go Mawile here, too. And play rough. Like, what's his switch into a play rough? I don't think he has one. Do I just go Mawile? Like, he has no switch into play rough here. It's not a bad option. Or I go Victini again. Let's go Victini. Let's go Victini. I think going for V-Create is really solid here. He goes for Wish. Okay. But, oh, you know what? He could go uh, Zygarde this time. Now he could go Zygarde. Okay, I think I U-turn out this time. I'm going to go for the U-turn, predicting the Zygarde play. He stays in again. Why? I don't understand. All right, I'm going uh, Mawile then. He's playing so many games with me here. Do I go Mawile? Yeah, I'm going to go Mawile. He is playing all the games right now. All right, we're going to get Intimidate off on him. Does he Moonblast? He does Moonblast. Alright, it's resisted. Does a lot. And he gets the Wish back. Alright, well now he's got to be fearing an Iron Head. So, I'm going to Mega Evolve here. And I think I just Stone Edge predicting Zapdos. Or Play Rough. I mean, I really don't lose anything by Play Roughing. So, I'm going to go for the Play Rough here. Yeah, I... I really surprised that he... Uh, 
He bluffed that. He just kept staying it with Aromatisse. Thinking I wasn't going to V-Create or what? I don't know. I just, like, I'm so worried about that Zygarde coming in. That's why I've been so scared. But uh, we're going to play rough now. Now he switches into what? Zapdos? Big Bird. Yeah, Big Bird is not taking play rough after Stealth Rocks, I don't think. He obviously has the chance to paralyze me here um, with Static. But uh, this should actually do pretty well. This should do pretty well. So let's go for that big, uh, big play rough here. We connect it. That should be the end of Zapdos. And it is. No para, please. Okay, good. We got rid of the Zapdos. I'll take that. Still gotta be so careful this Zygarde, man. This Zygarde is such a problem. Zapdos is gone. I gotta weaken the Aromatisse a little bit. Here comes Baron, which is what? Lucario. Why Lucario, though? What is Lucario going to do to me? Do I just stay in against this thing and play rough it? I mean, if he's fighting Z, if he's fighting Z, he can knock me out with all opponent. I think I just go for play rough. I don't see why not. I'm going to go for play rough. If he's fighting Z, he'll knock me out, but I, I just feel like I just go for the big damage here because I can still beat Aromatisse. He goes for close combat. I should be able to live this unless his choice man did. We live it. Got some good bulk there. And Play Rough will knock him out as long as I hit it. And I do. Good job, my wall. Alright, Mawal kills Lucario with Play Rough. Lucario's gone. And now here comes Jorm, which is the Zygarde. Yeah. Okay. So, I feel like at this point, I just let Mawal go down. And I just go for the play rough. You know? Because then Silvalli comes in and Ice Beams. Or Parting Shots, whatever I want to do. Which I like. Um, yeah, I think I just play rough and let him go down. I mean, Sucker Punch is nice for Beedrill, for sure. So, like, that's something I want to keep in mind. But I don't want to allow him free setup, so I'm just going to play rough. He very well may just attack me here and knock me out. But we don't have Intimidate anymore. I just don't want to allow this Zygarde to set up on me. I cannot allow that. Let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, so Volley looks really good against his Zygarde. He goes for Thousand Arrows. Okay. So, uh, Zygarde kills Mawile with Thousand Arrows. Okay. So we get that kind of out of the way. Don't get any intel on him. I think my, uh, my Silvalli bug looks really good here. So I think I'm just going to Parting Shot out this turn. I feel like his play is to go into his Aromatisse, so I could just Parting Shot out and go into my uh, Seismitoad uh, if he stays in. Yeah, I'm going to Parting Shot. I'm going to Parting Shot out. We don't know anything about this thing other than the fact that it has 1,000 waves, a 1,000 arrows, which is expected. So, I mean, I can Ice Beam him here and do a tremendous amount to him. I feel like he's got to go Aromatisse, though. Which is why I'm going to Parting Shot and go to Victini. Because then I can just click V-Create again. And once Aromatisse is weakened, uh, Salamence kind of just wins. And if he stays in here, I still get a Parting Shot off, so it's not like the end of the world, you know? I can go Verizion and try to set up on him at minus one, which may or may not be that good of a play. This is tough. Like, I'm up five to three, but, like, he's got such big threats. He does switch out. He goes into Aromatisse. Okay, that's what I wanted. All right, now I get to V-Create, which is good. I can Parting Shot out. Go into my Victini and click V-Create, which is very nice. All right, I'm gonna stick to that plan. Victini is my play here. 
I mean, I can also Zen Headbutt, but I feel like the 50% I would be doing to Zygarde is worth it. And he does show leftovers in this thing. Okay. All right, I'm just going for it. He can he can scout out with Protect all he wants, but uh, I'm just going to go for the V Create. He goes for Protect, obviously. So the last couple of times I've been switching out here, but I'm going to just V Create. It's going to do like half to Zygarde. And if it doesn't do half to Zygarde, then we can assume he's like bulky anyway. So like, even if he is bulky, it still does almost half. I'm going for it. Man, it stinks too, because if this thing was gone earlier in the game, like I feel like Salamence just wins, but... Let's see what he's going to do. I might be able to find out what's... Oh, he's going to stay in. That's what I wanted. I wanted to get damage off on a rubber Let's see if this knocks him out. Depends on how much investment he has. It just knocks him out. All right. Vitini kills Aromatisse with um, V-Create. Aromatisse is gone. Now the key here is don't get swept by Zygarde at plus two. That is the key. An Outrage should be good. From Mence. So, he could go Beedrill and just knock me out. It doesn't matter. Mence comes in and clicks Outrage. Here comes Glorious, which is the Beedrill. At this point, we just let him go down. We just let Victini go down. He did its job. We click V-Create. Did its job, Victini. You did a great job, buddy. You did an absolutely awesome job. Awesome job. You were phenomenal. You were phenomenal, Victini. You did your job perfectly, buddy. And now we just click V Create. He's gonna U turn, that's fine. B Drill kills Victini with U turn. And now I get to go Savali here. He doesn't have rocks up. Savali should be able to live any hit and actually outspeed, most likely. And the key is just don't let the Zygarde set up two Dragon Dances. As long as he doesn't get two Dragon Dances up, Salamence comes in and outrages. So, here comes the Zygarde. It's going to take a little bit of chip damage, which is actually important because Outrage doesn't kill if he's super uh, bulky. And now I just got to get a little bit of chip damage off on him. So we're going to go right into Talos here. No reason to do anything else. I actually should most likely outspeed him and be able to go for Ice Beam. We have the same speed stat, but I'm max speed, so I don't, I don't see... How he's gonna outspeed us. I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. And he could go B Drill. He actually is gonna stay in and Dragon Dance, so he, it's a speed tie. But Ice Beam is gonna do so much to him. And he has to go plus two. So, I get to Ice Beam. This may knock him out too, because he's obviously very fast. And he lives, but he can't switch out. He has to attack here. So we just stay in and we Ice Beam again. He goes for the Thousand Arrows, and I think we actually live it because we're bugged. Yeah, he has extreme speed, I think. So Volley kills uh, Zygarde with Ice Beam. Sweet. Good job, so Volley. And now he has Beedrill, but I have Choice Scarfed Salamence sitting in the back. So now we just keep him from setting up Substitute if for some reason he has that. But Salmon should be able to win this game. Okay. He's very weakened. I don't know if I can live a hit. I'm just going to Flamethrower. I don't know if I live Poison Jab or not. I doubt it. I doubt we live Poison Jab. But again, it doesn't matter. I actually am curious whether I could live a Poison Jab or not. I, I really doubt it, though. No. He's going to Poison Jab. We don't live this. No, we're not going to. That's fine, though. Beedrill kills um, Savali with Poison Jab. And again, I could have preserved Differential there, but it just was not worth it. We go into Airheart now, which is Choice Scarfed. It's going to be faster than Beedrill no matter what. We get the Intimidate off, which is going to reduce his attacks. And we click Dragon Claw and win the game. Let's do it. That's game, man. That was a crazy game, dude. We played so well, though. Choice Band Victini proves to be an absolute monster, as we expected. Salamence 
kills, B drill with D claw, and win 3 0, baby. Good game to Tup, man. Victini was so clutch, though, in this game, man. Coming in, getting two kills, uh, destroying Aromatisse, destroying Torkoal as planted. Choice banded Victini in Sun. Very, very good stuff there. Savali Bug, baby. I didn't draft a bug type, but Savali Bug. Eating up that hit from Zygar there at the end, which is amazing. Getting a kill there. Uh, you know, we played really, really well around some of his moves. He had some some good some good mind games going with that Aromatisse, though. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of tricky to deal with. But nevertheless, we were able to pick up a nice W there behind Choice Band and Victini. And you got to show some love to Mawile, man. Mawile one-shot a Zapdos. It was a little weakened, but still. And then a one-shot a Lucario, uh, which almost knocked me out. But we had some bulk investments. So good stuff there. Uh, you know, I don't know how much the, you know... The Mawa live on the Lucario mattered, but we lived it. Still plenty of Revengers. The key was just getting rid of Aromatisse, so that way Salamence could, uh, could win that game for us, and it was able to do so. And uh, I'll take it, man. Good win there. We moved to 2-0. and Nice win behind Victini and Mawa. This is going to be the theme for this season, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's going to be for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Thanks so much for checking out my last video. If you like that one, you'll definitely like this one. And be sure to subscribe for more as I post Pokemon videos every single day.